In a previous tutorial, we showed you how to draw in closed paver areas, paver paths, and paver rectangles. What we're going to do in this one is go another step further and show you some more advanced paver techniques. Let's go ahead and delete out the paver path here, and we're going to show you a couple other sidewalk options. Now, if we go up to the Draw menu and we select Pavers and Close Paver, I'm going to come in and I'm going to click here to start my closed paver area. Now if I hold down on the O key on the keyboard, that's going to lock my cursor or my line to the ortho grid. So I'm going to click and just keep holding down on the O key and I'm going to manually create this path. It's going to be an L-shaped path like so. And when I'm done, I right click to set that down. Okay, so that's an easy way of, of doing a uh, just a straight line uh, path. Now, what we want to do here is we want to place an arc along the inside and the outside. And it's really easy to do here. If we go up to the all-in-one toolbar, we're going to select the Trim Round tool from the Trim menu. This is also found on the Edit Trim menu. Okay, you'll come up to the Edit bar and you need to set the arc radius. So I'm going to set the arc radius for this to 5 feet and press enter and then we'll come down and click on the vertical perimeter line here and then the horizontal perimeter line. Okay, and then we'll click on the lower horizontal line and the outer vertical line. There we go. So it's, it's created an arc uh, that has a 5 foot radius on both the inside and the outside of that walkway. Okay, another option that we can do that will give us a curved walkway is to draw in a rectangle. So I'm going to go to my pavers toolbar and select rectangle and we're just going to drop an arbitrary rectangle around there. Now if we double click on this, this gets into the edit vertice mode and what we can do is just drag the points manually to where the, uh, the start and end points of the sidewalk is going to uh, end up. Okay, now once we get that angled like so, what we can do is hold down on the control key and we can arc this line out just like that and then we can grab the inside line and we'll do the same pull it in to create an arced pathway. Alright, for the next example I'm going to open up another drawing. Okay, uh, what we're wanting to do on this one is I have a, a paver patio here and I want to uh, place a void area in here. So if let's say we had a, a raised bed like a tree ring or a barbecue grill that we wanted to put inside this but we didn't want pavers to cover up uh, that area and we didn't want to account for those pavers on a bid. What we can do is the following technique. We'll go up and we're going to turn off the hatch area first so it is not hatched. Okay. Now I'm going to uh, select the or draw in a voided out area and I'm going to do so using my circle tool. So I'll go to my 2D CAD menu and I'll select center side circle and then I'll draw the circle in at the desired radius. Okay, so this is where uh, the void area is going to be. Alright, now if we go up to the draw menu and go back to the pavers toolbar and select paver fill. Alright, I also want to select a hatch and the pattern's already selected there. Okay, and I get my fill cursor. So if I just click on the area around this circle, it's going to fill that in. Okay, I'm not done yet because what I've done here is I've created a, another paver area that's a little bit bigger than the first one. So I just drag that aside and the original paver area, I want to delete that out. And then I'll grab the first one and, or the, the new one, and drag it into place like so. Alright, so if it calculates this uh, paver area, it's not going to calculate the area within this circular area. Okay, so that was uh, using the paver fill tool. Now let's go ahead and zoom out. Alright, let's say I want to create a driveway here and I want it to be um, an odd shape, like it's a circular driveway. So we have a tool 
on the paver toolbar. I'm going to go to draw pavers and we're going to select the paver edge tool. Okay, now up on the edit bar, I'm going to select the line type of a line and we're going to draw in a straight line like so. Alright, now I'm going to uh, do the same thing. I'll go to paver and edge. I'll place another straight line here. Okay, and I'm going to repeat that. I need to do one more straight line. And I'm going to start that one down here and come down here. So this is the straight portion of my driveway leading into the garage. What we're going to do now is extend this and apply another area out here uh, for the circular portion of the driveway. So again, I'll go to Draw Pavers and select Edge. This time I'm going to select a spline line type. I'll just start here and come out and create an arc. And I'll do the same here. And I'll right click to set that down. Okay, so this is what we have so far. It's a little bit sloppy. With this technique you can come in and if you double click on the lines you can adjust your vertice points. Uh, it's pretty easy to do with this technique and this edging tool. Okay, so you can adjust this uh, just the way you need it so don't worry about getting it just right the first time. Okay, so let's say I have this shape the way I want it. Okay, so after we've placed the uh, paver edge we're going to go up to the draw menu and select pavers and this time we're going to select create pavers from edges. Okay, now what we need to do is click on each of the lines that we drew in here that define this shape. Okay, and I'm just clicking on the ones that we created with the paver edge line. I'm not going to click on the foundation wall here. Alright, when I'm done defining those I just right click and that applies a paver fill to that area and it converts it to a, a paver so when it goes on a bid it's going to calculate the square footage of this entire area. Alright, now you'll see if I, if I move that away the paver uh, edge lines are missing. Now if I wanted those lines to stay there when I drew the, the uh, when I did the, uh, the second step there using the create paver from edges tool I could have unchecked the box that says delete selected entities and it would have left those edge lines there so if you uh, if you needed those edge lines there for another reason uh, as, a, as a boulder line or a border uh, we could have left them there, there pretty easily. Alright and that's our advanced uh, paver techniques tutorial.